Ready? Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to work on distributive property. So for this problem, uh, you need to make sure that whenever we have a number outside of parentheses, we're going to multiply that number to times everything inside the parentheses. So I'm going to multiply 3x times x squared, 3x times x, and then 3x <coughs> times a negative 4. All right? Anytime you have anything outside of the parentheses, you're multiplying by everything inside that parentheses. So we write 3x times x squared. Then we do, a, that's a positive 3x. 3x times x. And that's another positive 3x times a negative 4. And I'm going to put that negative in parentheses so we remember that it's not really subtraction, but it's a, you know, it's a negative 4. We're not going to be doing subtraction. So the next thing is now we need to multiply these. Remember, these have little exponents 1s, right? If there's no exponent there, we know we can write a 1. So when you add a, a number with an exponent times another number with an exponent, you add the exponents. So 3 times x times x squared is 3x cubed plus 3 times x times x, x to the first times x to the first. You add 1 plus 1, which gives you 2. So it's 3x squared. And then plus, I have 3 times a negative 4 is going to give me a negative 12. And then there's an x up there as well. So it's a negative 12x. And usually we don't really like to write plus a negative 12. So I'll finish this off by 3x squared plus 3x, I'm sorry, 3x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x. Okay? Any questions? <laughs> no questions? Bravo.